Another mineral max that we could speak about is copper, uh, something that we have, uh, we need in very small amounts. Some people can get it. Uh, some of the plumbing in this country is with copper pipes and so mm -hmm. on, and I think people feel that they probably get all the copper they need from that. But what can you tell us about copper? Well, actually, that... actually, there's a lot of places in our country that people really do not get enough copper. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, copper is a very, very important trace mineral. Uh, the copper can be involved in things such as red blood cell production, bone production, Copper is important to form a uh, antioxidant enzyme, copper zinc SOD, which is uh, important in fighting against reactive oxygen species, which mm -hmm. induces mm -hmm. a number of uh, different problems. Uh, re ROS, reactive oxygen species, is a fast, fancy way of saying free radicals, mm -hmm. and a lot of people have heard of free radicals, and mm -hmm. copper, uh, of course, helps fight against those. Uh, people who suffer from arthritis need more copper because there's more turnover because of the inflammation. Mm -hmm. And the copper zinc SOD uh, is utilized more in fighting the inflammation when somebody's suffering from an inflammatory problem like arthritis. Mm -hmm. uh, and so more copper in those has been found to be very helpful. Now, again, when it comes to forms of copper uh, as a mineral, as a, with other minerals, there are copper sulfate, copper, other forms yeah. of it. And uh, Albion produces, of course, a chelated copper. Could you speak a little bit about the differences well, between you know, those? Um, this is a common thing with us. We talk about all the time at Albion is the fact that a chelated form of a mineral, like Albion's copper glycine chelate, copper amino acid chelate from Albion, uh, the relative absorption is going to be higher. The dietary interferences, the interactions that are negative things with inorganic minerals won't be present in the chelated form. The absorption of something like copper from copper sulfate is going to be very, very low. I mean, you know, if you're going to take a supplement, let's take one that you know is going to get into your bloodstream. Uh, something uh, that you're going to, you know, spend your money for, you might as well get benefit from. And certainly the copper uh, glycine chelate is one that will be well absorbed. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, copper goes to form copper zinc SOD. And we have uh, been involved in clinical studies uh, with uh, arthritic groups where they have taken the copper as the Albion copper glycine chelate and shown, in fact, that we impacted a very significant increase in the SOD levels in the arthritics and showing that the bioavailability of the copper from Albion is high and effective. Thank you, Max. Sure.